Welcome to today's Coronavirus Cinema Collection. I'm Gail Rubin, the doyen of death, with film recommendations for hunkering down at home. Today, we're looking at Jewish funeral traditions on film, specifically focused on two movies from Mexico, Nora's Will, which came out in 2008, and the 2007 comedy, My Mexican Shiva. You may be wondering why Mexican films having very traditional Jewish funerals. Well, in the early 20th century, from the 19-teens to the 1940s, there was a lot of immigration from Europe due to the collapse of the Ottoman Empire and World War II. Both Ashkenazi Jews from Eastern Europe and Sephardic Jews from the Mediterranean area went to Mexico. People were endeavoring to go to the United States, but in the 1920s there was a crackdown on immigration. So many of these traditional Jews stayed in Mexico. These two films, Nora's Will and My Mexican Shiva, brilliantly illustrate some very concrete Jewish funeral traditions. Now, Nora's Will starts with Nora committing suicide by overdosing on pills. One aspect in Nora's Will that is very important is the scheduling of funerals. In this case, Nora very creatively and thoughtfully planned her suicide to coincide not only with Passover and Shabbat. So this is going to cause a great delay in the scheduling of her funeral. Ravino Harkowitz. Su consuegro me llamó para darme la terrible noticia. De verdad lo siento mucho. Gracias. Pase. Su esposa Dora era una mujer excepcional. Nora. Por eso, Nora. Y hace 20 años que dejó de ser mi esposa. Hola, Rabino. Siéntese. ¿Le sirvo un café? Pues si no hay mucha molestia. No, no se preocupe. El café está listo desde ayer. José, me tomé la libertad de venir porque, además de que le tengo mucho aprecio a su hijo Rubén, hoy comienzan las festividades de Pesach y hay varias decisiones que debemos tomar. Siéntese. Mire, si el entierro no se lleva a cabo hoy, antes de las 3 de la tarde, tendremos que esperar a que pasen las dos primeras noches de la fiesta de Pesach. Pero luego es sábado y nosotros tampoco acostumbramos a enterrar el Shabbat. ¿Nosotros? José... Entonces, tendríamos que esperar hasta el domingo, o sea, casi cuatro días desde la muerte de su esposa. Ex esposa. Lo cual solo se permite en casos extremos, ya que la ley judía exige que el difunto sea enterrado en un plazo máximo de 24 horas. ¿Qué horas son? José, no la podemos enterrar sin Rubén. Tampoco podemos esperar tanto tiempo. There's also a very compelling scene when Nora finally does get buried. When you throw earth on the casket, that thud of the sound of the dirt hitting the casket is visceral and it really drives home the reality that this loved one is dead and being buried. 
והוא רחום יכפר עוון ולא ישחית וירבה להשיב אפו ולא יאיר כל חמתו ושר עוונך וחתכת תכופר El pesar no debe pasar de mano en mano. Cada quien tiene ya su propio dolor. מלא רחמים שוכן במרומים, התשובה נכונה, אך הקפה השכינה. In my Mexican Shiva, the movie opens with a party in a theater, and Moshi drops dead of a heart attack. In the opening scenes, you'll actually see some very traditional superstitions uh, regarding pointing the feet toward the door, and putting a glass of water and lighting candles around the deceased. Moshe está descubierto. Sí, venga. Ayúdame, por favor. Los pies tienen que estar hacia la puerta. Sosténgale la cabeza. Estija. Pídale perdón. Estija. Tiene que estar totalmente cubierto para que pueda iniciar el viaje. Baruch Shem Kevod Malchutol Leolam Ba'ed. Baruch Shem Kevod Malchutol Leolam Ba'ed. Adonai Yoa Elohim, Adonai Yoa Elohim, Adonai Yoa Elohim, Adonai Yoa Elohim, Adonai Yoa Elohim. Muy day man. Ver se malochim, ver madleit moises nechume in der reis. Die lichtige o der die finstere. Me ve transen. There's also scenes of a tahara in the opening credits. This is the ritual washing and dressing of a body before burial. My Mexican Shiva also shows scenes of holding prayer services in the home. The eating of an egg as uh, the first food that's eaten by the family when they come home from the cemetery. In my Mexican Shiva, there's a Hevra man. The Hevra Kedisha is the Jewish burial society that takes care of, usually in America, just the washing and dressing of the body. However, in my Mexican Shiva, the Hevra man is in charge of setting up the house of mourning, which has some very specific things such as in the scene. Doña Nati, ¿verdad? Sí. Doña Nati, hay que cubrir todas las fotos, ¿eh? La foto de Don Moisés también. Todas. ¿Y tú qué sabes? Cuando falleció la difunta Doña Miriam, que Dios tenga en su santa gloria, a mí me tocó armar todo para su chiva de ella, solita. Shiva, se dice Shiva o, o Shive. Estas flores también. Ay, hay que quitarlas. Este velorio va a estar muy triste sin flores. Y ese espejo también, ¿eh? Eh, oiga, a la señora Esther le gusta mucho lucir ese espejo. Sí, la señora Esther sabe perfectamente bien que los próximos siete días no puede bañarse, trabajar, usar zapatos de piel, tener relaciones íntimas, estudiar la Torah, saludar, usar ropa almidonada, sentarse en sillas normales, afeitarse, ni siquiera tener ningún tipo de expresión de alegría. Echeme una manita con esto. Oiga, licenciado, ¿en serio aquí se van a sentar? <risa> Los siete días. Así tiene que ser. No soy licenciado. At the end of my Mexican Shiva, you see the family actually leave their house and go on a walk around the block. This is a signal that they are coming back into the community and transitioning from staying at home and mourning. Now, during this time of coronavirus and hunkering down at home and social distancing, 
it's very important that we still get the support of our community, but we are not able to get it in an in-person fashion. Most funerals are being limited to 10 people at the most, with six feet between each person who is there. So it's very difficult for our grieving to get the support of our community in person. So I highly encourage if, if you're experiencing a loss during this time, that you actually take advantage of Zoom and Skype and the online video services that you can to connect with people visually, if not actually in person. The 2014 film, This Is Where I Leave You, has a very funny scene where the family, who is not religious at all, is being faced with the idea of sitting Shiva for seven days. Let's watch this scene. You're shitting us, right? They're Shiva chairs. You sit low to the ground as a sign of mourning. That's why they're like that. Okay. Don't some people sit Shiva for just like three days? Yes, mm. I've seen that. That's oh, a yeah. thing. Wow. No, it's not a that? thing. Maybe that could be our thing. It can't be Maybe your thing. The there is no... Okay, this is we why. We can pioneer that. We're not going to pioneer it. Nobody here is going to pioneer it because the word Shiva is Hebrew for seven. Seven days, no work, no travel. Your ass is in those seats. That's it. Those are the rules. Well, I'd love to find the word for three because I don't think Stop that... Stop it! This was your father's dying wish and you're negotiating? I mean, he was not a perfect man or a perfect father, but he sure as hell was better than most. Mom! No! Your father had one final request, and we are going to honor it. It's going to be hard. It's going to be uncomfortable, and we're going to get on each other's nerves. But for the next seven days, you are all my children again. And you are all grounded. What are you waiting for? Come on. Yep. Any particular seat? I'll take her. No, no, I got her. Oh, no, she's fine. Sausage. Amy. Get a nap. Just no. The short chairs is another aspect of Jewish funeral traditions where the immediate family would be sitting low to the ground. And this is where I leave you. They actually have short chairs. In the Mexican films, the cushions are placed on the floor from the sofa and the mourners would sit even closer to the ground. I want to give an honorable mention to a YouTube video called the iShiva app, which is a very funny takeoff that a uh, young Jewish man put together about the whole idea of Jews and food. Are you down on your luck? Homeless and hungry, yet own a smartphone? Are you a foodie in search of your next blog-worthy meal? You know, I expected more from the mussels. Agreed. But the cumin braised scallops are sublime. Boom. Are you totally stoned and have the munchies? <sighs> then iShiva is the app for you. iShiva is the new revolutionary smartphone application that will guide you to the nearest Shiva call within 18 miles of your location. Yeah. Feinbergs are only two blocks away. iShiva will tell you who died in the cause of death. Bernie Schumelwitz. He's only 77. Heart attack. Gets him every time. Shame. iShiva will tell you what deli is catering. Oh, but it's Factor's Famous Deli. Shiva will tell you the name of the surviving relatives so you're prepared when you show up at their door. Sylvia, so sorry for your loss. Saul was a good man, an honest man, a real mensch. Lox, pastrami, corned beef, brisket, chopped liver, blintzes, gefilte fish, and pickled herring. What more could you want? Juice. I heard that they use sage and honey in the reduction process of the corned beef hash. Hashtag fact is deli, hashtag I shiva, mm -hmm. hashtag Schimmelwitzes, hashtag corned beef, hashtag best shiva ever. Tag me. You'll find Amazon links to all of these movies in the description below. If you know of other Jewish 
funeral tradition films you'd like to recommend, please post a comment. Hope you'll give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for more coronavirus cinema collection films. By the way, I do have a license to use film clips in my talks, and I can do virtual presentations as well as in-person presentations about Jewish funeral traditions and many other funeral-related topics. I'm Gail Rubin, the Doyen of Death, reminding you to wash your hands and remember, just like talking about sex won't make you pregnant, talking about funerals and end-of-life issues won't make you dead, start a conversation today.